instead it is easy for me to go and pay cash 50 crores that this is my contribution why should i go to no no the, the party does not get money in white so party, party need... wants party wants capital party does not need money in white let us be very clear <laughs> the government is insisting that every party this is not must... for, this, this is not a scheme only for elections it's Correct. not a scheme only for elections Correct, it's for running the party ah. it's for running the party no, I am not feeling shy of saying that, but not because that's the part of the scheme. It applies to everybody across the board. Across yes, the board. My learned friend said, ha, huh, as if he, 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 uh, he trapped me into it. I am saying it consciously. But not what happens is... Well, I am an independent member of parliament. I don't know why you associate <laughs> me with the party. <laughs> yeah. well, well, let's history not can't... Be, can't well, let's I mean, not go into it. Well, let's victimize me. Don't victimize me by my history. <laughs> to get an electoral board under the scheme, he doesn't have one percent of national or the local. <laughs> right. We had options of public sector banks and private banks. Obviously, we cannot choose private banks. In public sector banks, the largest bank with largest presence in the country is State Bank of India. Therefore, State Bank of India. There is a specific exclusion of private banks in the FAQs. They don't use private banks for this channel because let it remain in one particular bank which can be trusted and your lordships would not Lord kindly Lord bear with me not trust institutions and i will i'm, I'm going to show to your lordships that there is any deviation if anyone tries to breach into the confidentiality it leaves its footprints and will not go unpunished my lord i i as a law officer, spoke to the chairman of the State Bank of India. And I have his letter signed by him saying three things. A. Accept the contingency contemplated under Section 74, that is the court's order, that the scheme does not allow or permit even ruling party to know about, even the government to know about, the central government as a, as a Body, my lord. Now, not forget the ruling party in the government. Central government would not know. Now, my lord, the largest public sector bank is before the highest court of the country, signed by the chairman of that bank, saying that this cannot be shared even with the central government. And we have a mechanism in place that nobody can breach it. So, my lord, the point I am respectfully making is that we have to trust institutions that they will go by the law. Lord, if there is any deviation, I have a suggestion Lord, which I will make at an appropriate stage when I come to that part of the scheme. Lord, everywhere it cannot be purchased and everywhere it cannot be deposited. Because Lord, what, what happens is, Lord, why this? The donor and donee both must have a designated account in a designated branch. Why? Why? I will just very candidly and very bluntly point out Lord, what, what can happen. Lord, I purchase a bond of 1 crore of rupees. I purchase a bond of 1 crore of rupees. I give it to a political party. They don't wish to show it in their return at all. What they can do is, they can go to one small cooperative bank in Trichur or some uh, corner of Gujarat or some corner of uh, Lord Maharashtra, deposit it, withdraw in cash and nobody would come to know. To avoid this, we have said that Every political party will have one designated account, only there it can be deposited and that would be in one of the 29 designated branches. And it is so ensured that each branch is there in each state broadly. But well, petitioners have confined their arguments essentially to companies. But this includes all. And well, there are several donors from experience well, when I discuss who donate on individual basis. Lord, there are several conventional businesses like transport business, like uh, contractors business, where they are individuals who do the business. They, they don't form any kind of formal company or Hindu undivided family or a partnership form. The bond shall be encashed by an eligible political party only through a bank account with the authorized bank. There would be a designated account out of these 29 designated branches. Well, the objection was that why this one percent limit and there is a simple reason. Earlier when exemption was given, 
to political parties, there were some blood mushrooms, uh, mushrooming of political parties, fake parties, just to get exemption. Blood, therefore, one percent presence would mean you are a serious political party, and one percent is not something blood uh, unrealistically high. And it can be even in parliamentary election or in any of the assembly elections. So just to Malod, ensure that there are no fake parties which are created to get benefit of this. Malod, now why this? Malod, apart from the obvious reason that there cannot be any anonymous purchase. I cannot go and say that I will not give my name but give me the electoral bond. I, uh, there, are, there is a list of Malod, uh, KYC documents. I will have to give my Aadhaar number. I will have to give my PEN number. I will have to give my residential proof. I will have to give my passport number if any, etc, etc. So that anyone cannot just walk in and purchase the bond. That is Malod, the object. Malod, I'll, uh, Malod, there is one more reason. Malod. Uh, and, and your Lordship Malod, as the highest court must know about it. Malod, therefore, I am saying. Malod, uh, India is a signatory to one treaty. International treaty. Malod, that is for eradication of uh, money laundering and drug money. Under which... There is a, that's Vienna and Palenmaro, that there are two conventions, where there is one financial action task force. It's created under the edges of the United Nations. That task force has created 40 conditions that every country who is a signatory will have to follow those conditions. Based upon every country's performance or compliance of those 40 conditions, there is a peer review. Other five, uh, five persons from different countries would come and review our, inform our, our system, whether we are following that or not, and would grade us. We can be in uh, white, uh, what, what do they call, white list, gray list, black list, which Lord, require, which uh, Lord, uh, decides whether in international market like World Bank, Asian Development Bank, India as a nation would get the financial assistance or not. If we are in the grey list, we will not. One of the major condition is that bring your clean money into the system and one of the, one of the uh, mode is to insist for KYC documents. Therefore, my lord, uh, the neighboring country was in the grey list. It managed to come out of it. Otherwise, my lord, it was going into the black list. And that also depends based upon the gradation Gradation also decides our credit rating at the international stock market, the country's trading, uh, credit rating. Therefore, it's, it's very crucial to follow those 40 principles. Then denomination. The bonds shall be issued in the denomination of 1,000, 10,000, 1 lakh, 10 lakh and uh, 1 crore. Well, this is for the purpose of administrative simplicity. And, and my Lord, as your Lordships, my Lord, uh, uh, very rightly, my Lord expressed the concern that somebody can be aggregator. My Lord, if I want to donate 50 lakhs, then uh, 50 crores, then I'll have to find out 50 aggregators. Instead, it is easy for me to go and pay cash 50 crores that this is my contribution. Why should I go to? No, no, the, the party does not get money in white. The party, party, need... wants, party wants capital. The party does not need money in white. Let us be very clear. The government is insisting that every party. This is not, for, this is not a scheme only for elections. It's Correct. not a scheme only for elections. Correct, Manu. It's for running the party. Ah. It's for running the party. No, I am not feeling shy of saying that, Manu, because that's the part of the scheme. It applies to everybody across the board. Across yes, the board. My learned friend said, ha, as if he, 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 uh, he trapped me into it. I am saying it consciously. But Lord, what happens is, well, I am an independent member of parliament. I don't know why you associate <laughs> me with the party. <laughs> yeah. well, well, let's history not can't, can't, can't well, let's, let's, let's not go into it. Let, let's victimize me. Don't victimize me by my history. <laughs> it's not entitled to get an electoral bond under the scheme. It doesn't have one percent of national or the local. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's not go into it. My personal uh, thing, I never, my Lord, intended. Uh, my Lord, what what happens is, let let me clarify that position. This is not for election. When we talk of election, we think of general parliamentary election. When a political party is running, it contests parliamentary elections, it contests assembly elections, it contests uh, local authorities' elections, it has its own campaigns, it has its own rallies, it has its own 
Malod uh, think tanks. Think tanks are also Malod. Every party has think tanks. Their salaries. They need some kind of a Malod uh, building in every state. They need Malod offices in every part of the country where the voters would go and seek some minor help. Malod, like my name is not entering into the. Uh, ration card, etc., and some workers of the party, each party, my lord. So it's holistic, my lord. It's uh, nobody has so far, my lord, heard. At least I have not heard that. As my learned friend gave a very fantastic uh, example, that bungalows being built for the leaders, my lord. No party has no party, my lord. I am not on one party has built bungalows for uh, any leader, but they are building offices and other elect electoral expenses. Now, my lord, comes to the validity of the bond. Off the track, uh, the KYC with regard to anybody who makes donation above two thousand rupees is also required to be done by the political parties, or is this format prescribed for that? I'll just ask because uh, in the uh, scheme doesn't provide. You know, for this is nothing to do with the scheme. Uh, I'll, I'll just follow. Take instruction for it. There is for banking channels. Yes, even if it is less than two thousand. But political parties can. You know, there, there is no. There is no. There is no. There is no. The political no, parties. Do. When 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 you take the name and other details, you know, they don't take any document in support there. My lord, as a matter of fact. I'm just asking as a factual. My lord, uh, practically, my lord, let us. It's not possible. It may, may practice. Nobody pays, my lord, nineteen hundred, nineteen hundred rupees or nineteen thousand earlier rupees, my lord. Nobody comes. If I get as a political party hundred crores. I'll have fictitious names divided into whatever is the amount, and I'll show that 19 so many people, so many thousand people gave me 1900. There is no, there is no check as far as there multiple no deposits by same person is concerned. That, that's the, so now now that uh, incentive is not. But if if 1000 is also electoral bond permitted, if I want to buy electoral bond of 1000, it is through the KYC channel only. But if I want to go and give one thousand rupees, which nobody would go and nobody would take, but uh, then there is no KYC. Not anybody can go and take. Thank you.